Uh, just a bit about myself. <clears throat> I'm 77 and uh, I was dux of one of the greatest schools of Africa called Hilton College and I was top of my university in physics and applied maths. So just to tell you that I've got a few brain cells. Um, I've also, when I was 12, decided there was more to this life than what we see. And so I set my main goal to, to try and find out what this esoteric uh, uh, thing about life is. And I have been very fortunate. I had amazing experiences. Um, and I, I, I continually, I see spirit. I, I have visions. And, you know, one of them is, two of them recorded on YouTube in the, um, the video Peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, uh, where uh, Jesus told us that if we want to survive all this, the meek shall inherit the earth. And, and God appeared and said, I have decided to take over the governance of Australia and to cleanse all corruption and purify Australia. And these two miracles, you know, keep me going. I'm a very, very positive person. Um, I, I see spirit all the time. And <clears throat> I just wanted to reinforce that message that this is a test on all of us. So we, we, we shouldn't get angry and bitter and twisted about all of this because then we're just falling for the same rubbish. You know, we're going downhill. What we, we should do is use the values of truth, unconditional love, help ever, hurt never, peace and non-violence. Okay, those should be our, our values and those will be the values of our communities, by the way. And, and we should face this as warriors, as, as truth seekers. Um, we should say our truth. We should defend our truth like we are in court in Victoria. Um, and we have to wait it out because it's going to happen. And, and I, I see this very clearly. I actually see beyond this world into other worlds, uh, which are absolutely incredibly beautiful. And, and we all have this ability. It's innate in us. You know, Jesus Christ said the kingdom of God lies within. So let's all face this with that spirit and do what we can. But as to saving the people who clearly killing themselves by being injected with poisons, so be it. You know, we've done, we've tried. And it's going to happen. And I think, you know, if, if we're d denied our rights in the cities, we have to move outside the cities and wait it out. So you feel a city is definitely not the place to be. I know you're not the only person saying that. Can you just expand on your reasons why? I think you're looking at a self-sufficiency model where people may be growing their own food, living off the grid. They may not have creature comforts or as many as they're accustomed to, but is that what you're suggesting is probably the safest way forward? Well, that's an interesting uh, uh, statement you made there. I was sitting with a friend on uh, two chairs in front of a fire in one of the most beautiful places in Australia with the stars above us and just thinking how incredibly beautiful is this. So it was a basic type of existence, but it had a beauty of its own? Correct. And I think we've lost that. We've become very materialistic. And um, I see us actually having more and more fun doing what we're going to do because we're being denied, denied our, our rights. If we don't get vaccinated, we're going to be asked it out of society and why don't we just leave anyway before that happens so that's that's what i think and i'm off to look for for land right now you know for under the name of uh, make australia healthy again you know the not-for-profit charitable trust um to to see if we can find these properties and people can move out there